Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 22635.4950, also known as the KV50 Fight 2 078 in the beta channel. These changes are available for Windows 11 version 23H2, but they're also expected to roll out for version 24H2 at some point. Okay, let's dive into the changes for this beta preview of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, in this update, Microsoft is adding the drag tray feature to the beta channel and the drag tray is simply a flyout that appears when you grab a file and you drag it to the top of the screen and as you can see it offers different options to share a file with different apps depending on the apps installed and configured on your computer you can also drop the file on the more option icon and that will actually open the windows share experience now if we drag the file to let's say the Outlook app. This action will open the mail app and it will create a draft of the email attaching that specific file, as you can see right here. Now the drag trade only works for single file. For example, if I try to drag a folder, that will not work. Also, it doesn't work for zip files. As you can see, nothing happens. And if I drag two files, that will also not work. Now, it is important to know that depending on the file that you use, you're going to have different options. So for example, this is a PDF file. And if I drag it to the top, I can share it to my phone, Outlook, and I still have the uh, legacy mail app. But if I drag an image, we can also share this particular file with Paint and the snipping tool. So basically, even though this is a sharing tool, we can also describe it as a launching tool because if we drop it to the Paint app, that's not going to share it to another device or to another person. It's only going to open that file on Paint. Microsoft is also bringing the changes for the All menu to the beta channel. We have seen this before, but if you haven't, now we can change the view for the apps installed on your computer. So we have three different views. The name list, that's the legacy view. Then we can also use a name grid and this is how we're going to display the apps. And the one that's most interesting is the category, which actually groups the apps depending on their category. So for example, by default, we have utility and tools, productivity, and any other applications that the system doesn't know how to categorize, it will put it right here in others. In this case, we also have developer tools, games, and creativity tools, and also information and reading. Now, these are technically folders, so we can click on the header, and that will actually open that category and you will have access to the different apps. You can also click this group right here that will also open the folder. And if you actually click on any of the apps right here, that actually is going to open the application. And finally, if you change the text size from this page, the settings will also apply to the different dialogues such as open, save, and other wizards for File Explorer. And that's it. Those are pretty much the most significant changes that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 22635.4950, also known as the KB50520078 and the beta channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these improvements and also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.